for the meringue to cool. I want this to cool before I roll it up. I've turned it out onto another piece of tin foil. The lemon curd is practically cool, so that's fine. I have a little bit of whipped cream, which I'm going to mix here with the lemon curd in a minute. But just for the moment, I just want to make a bit of chocolate sauce quickly to serve with the cake. I've got some cake that's cooked already, so I'm not waiting for this, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> in here, I've got 75 grams of chocolate, dark chocolate broken up into bits. I've got a little bit of grated orange zest, and I'm going to add in some cream, and then just stir it up over a low heat, and it just makes a really rich, creamy chocolate sauce, which I'm then going to drizzle over the cake. It's not essential for serving with the cake, and here is a slice of it. And I want to show you, can you see that, it's quite hard to see, but can you see that texture? It's a really moist, from all the nuts, from the ground hazelnuts or ground almonds you could use. It gives it a really wonderful texture. And this would be just lovely, like this, served a bit of icing sugar with a cup of coffee. Or you could, as I said, serve it with the chocolate sauce I'm going to make, just to make it even more kind of dessert-like, but not essential at all. Meringue is nearly cool enough. Chocolate sauce is coming along. Great. Coming along. Okay, the curd is kind of cool enough now. I can fold in some whipped cream. Has anybody got any questions for Rachel at all? So we're all coming around to your houses then for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stir the lemon curd into the whipped cream. And you can leave it kind of slightly marbled. So if this was going to be a little dessert of broken up meringue, I would just add in the broken up meringue now, like this, and then just serve it in little glasses. Little cups or glasses. That would be lovely. Okay, that is just cool enough, fantastic, to roll. Okay, I've got some raspberries here as well. So pour some of the whipped cream and lemon curd mixture. Yum, yum. I'm going to take it off the rack. Lovely. Well, of course, this could all be done in advance. The meringue could have been made yesterday. Lemon curd could have been made, could have been just been in a jar in the fridge. Or, of course, you can buy your ready-made le lemon curd. But as you can see, it's so easy to make. This could all be done in advance. And then in the morning of your dinner party, you could just roll it up to get ahead. I'm going to put some raspberries in. But it can't just be rolled up and served immediately, as I'm going to do today. But it's very handy to be able to do this, you know, first thing in the morning, keep it wrapped up in the tin foil in which I'm rolling it now, and then later tonight, take it out of the tin foil and it's ready to serve. So to roll it up, it's just really easy, as you can see, you just go like that, that's all you need to do. And you just kind of, can you see like that, you just want to roll it over, push it, there's a board here, thank you. That's this. And I'm just going to fold the edge. Can you see in the no, you probably can't see in the mirror. I'm just going to fold this little bit of tin foil under because I want to flip it out. Still a tiny bit warm, but you know what? Be divine. Pull the tin foil out. Yum, yum, yum. Everyone's so quiet. Watch them. They're very you? quiet. <laughs> They're probably wondering. <laughs> what else is missing? This is still a little bit warm. It would be even better, you know, if it was rolled up in the fridge all day, serve it tonight. I can cut Ooh. a slice. It would be nice and gooey then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Great. Thank you. And the kitchen puts me a plate, please. Thanks a lot. So there is a slice. I'm going to cut a nice big, big slice. I like to serve it kind of cut side, sitting up. Mm, still quite warm and delicate. A few little raspberries scattered around. There. A little bit of icing sugar. And there is your little coconut and lemon meringue roulade. A little bit of mint always kind of potches it up a bit. There. Okay. I've got this 
rich chocolate sauce. Now with equal quantities of chocolate and cream, you make quite a thick chocolate sauce. But if you want to make it a little bit more runny, add either, well you know what, I've got hot water here. There's nothing wrong with adding a tiny bit of hot water. If it's the same temperature as the chocolate, it won't block and suddenly kind of solidify. So if it does, how do you overcome it? Do you put a little bit more extra milk in? Or yeah, butter? or just put it on a gentle heat to kind of melt it out again. You know the way chocolate, like gelatine, will suddenly block if it, if it gets, comes in contact with something else at a different, <laughs> at a different temperature. So there, I'm just going to hot chocolate sauce over the top, like it's not rich enough already. <laughs> and again, a little bit of mint leaf. So that's it, two really quite simple but perfect for dinner party, a little bit of entertaining over Christmas baking recipes. We've got the coconut and lemon meringue roulade and we've got chocolate <laughs> hazelnut and marmalade cake with a rich chocolate creamy sauce. Thank you very much everybody.